So what was the thing that pushed you through when you first when you first started, you had the fear. What was the thing that pushed you through? There wasn't really anything that pushed me through. I wanted to be the best. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. How do you get over the initial fear, butterflies, all that stuff, picking up the phone the first time? Because let's face yeah. it, Ricky, the hardest thing in the world, the, the heaviest thing in the world is not a dumbbell or a weight or whatever it is. The heaviest thing in the world is this, the mm. phone. Because yeah. you've got to pick it up to use it, correct? Right. Well, so, go ahead. Well, I mean, you don't get over that. Why are you trying to get over it? Just so you don't have an excuse. Oh, oh they're, they're gonna hang up on me anyway. Or I don't feel like if doing you're gonna, it. If I'm you're gonna make it, or, if, if, I've heard all the excuses. Yeah, if you're gonna make that excuse, you'll just come up with another one right behind it. You know, if you eliminate that one, you'll come up with another one and another one and another one. If you're just making excuses and not taking action, then you're not gonna make it. There's no way around that. You know, there are there are excuse makers out there. When all they do is make excuses and don't take action, and there's nothing to cure them. They're gonna be like that the rest of their life. So you gotta you gotta decide: Are you one of those people? Or are you somebody like me who just does stuff and doesn't ask questions or make excuses? You know what you need to ask those agents are: Is do you have kids? Do you have do you have children? Do you have a family you gotta take care of? Okay, you do. Ooh, ouch! Because what you're telling me is that. You're not willing to feel just a little uncomfortable to provide a better life for them. That's about the most selfish act that you can find in real estate are people who are foreclosing on their house and they won't make a phone call. And they're about to lose their house and their family's about to be living with their grandparents, you know, and they still won't make a phone call. They won't do the, e you know, it's just so easy just to call people and say, how are you doing? A house around the corner sold or is there something I can do for you? And you do that thousands and thousands and thousands of times and build a database, you know, and then do a weekly email behind it to keep everybody in touch with you and become the number one agent in the world. So so you you, you, you get over the, 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 the fear or you don't get over it and it's just, this is my job. This is what I have to do to provide yeah. for my family and this is what it is. What I'm talking about is that, that when I first started making calls, I was scared. And every single person is scared. So why, what makes you so special that you don't think you're gonna, you, you have to be scared? Everything you're gonna do in life, you're just gonna be easy? I mean, is everything supposed to be just easy peasy? You, you, wanna, you wanna create this amazing life for yourself, you know, but it's supposed to be easy. And you, it's supposed to be done on your terms, you know? It just doesn't make any sense. The, the numbers don't add up there. Something's not connecting, you know what I mean? So what was the thing that pushed you through when you first when you first started, you had the fear. What was the thing that pushed you through? I, there wasn't really anything that pushed me through. I wanted to be the best. It was I mean, a desire. It yeah, was there desire was desire and commitment. Yeah, there was never a question. I mean, there was never a question of if I'm going to do something or not. You know, the only time you're going to grow in life is being in uncomfortable places. You know, making calls are uncomfortable, but you have to do it to get to the next level. You know, public speaking uncomfortable, but you got to do it to get to the next level. You know, posting on Facebook and doing live videos, it's uncomfortable, but you gotta do it. You can either grow or you can just stay the same and keep making excuses. It's really your choice. You know, the whole game is set up for you to win big time. Um, all the infrastructure's there. The people are there ready to do deals with you. You know, all the advertising avenues are there ready for you to take advantage of. Everything's just set right there on a platter for you. All you got to do is just go do it. So you're either going to do it or you're not. It's, it's right there. So you mentioned earlier, uh, just to go to a different topic, you mentioned earlier uh, that you wrote a couple of books. You had two books, one List to Last and one Zero to Done. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about List to Last, why you wrote that book, what's in that book, and, and what, what's the value that most can get out of that? Well, when I wrote Zero to Diamond first in 2016, okay. I started writing it. You know, when I went through the crash and came back and then, you know, lost everything and then came back and then started selling 100 properties a year in 2014, I was thinking, is this really real? Because I'd, lost, I'd made it and lost it before, so I was wondering, uh, am I going to lose it again this time? So I gave it two more years to 2016. I, I sold 100 properties a year for three years before I decided, okay, this is real enough to share with the world, right? 
a lot of coaches have been selling for two years and closed on nine properties and now they're selling courses and books you know I actually made it lost it came back made it again then stayed there for three years before I start before I decided to write a book so zero to diamond is kind of like the basics of my philosophies and when I sent that to the editor to get edited I was like oh no I forgot all this other stuff is still in my head so I literally wrote list to last before he got done editing the first one. I basically just traded him. Zero right. to Diamond was edited. Give him list to last to edit. Um, and I, I published two books back to back in 2017. Um, and, and list to last, Zero to Diamond was the basics of my philosophies. Zero to Diamond is, is the title is actually zero, uh, list to last, how to survive every real estate market crash. And it's literally everything I learned through the crash you know, like, like I said, I got back in in 08, and, the, and during the worst time, that's where I built my business, you know. So everything I learned through there is in that book. And, um, you know, I got twenty over 25,000 agents in my coaching program that are just absolutely killing it. Does everything work everywhere? Like, does, does what, what works in Alabama going to work in Minnesota? Is going to work in California? Is going to work in New Jersey? No, it works in uh, Finland. It works in Brazil. It works in Portugal, it works in South Africa, uh, it works in the UK, it works in Australia. I have coaching clients all over the, the world. Um, the bottom line is, is that relationships are universal. People just want to know that somebody cares about them. They, they want someone that's going to make them feel comfortable enough to handle this huge investment for them. And so it's not necessarily the nuts and bolts of how I do and my systems and everything. It's more of how do we communicate with people. See, the Zero to Diamond coaching program is based around helping people and communicating who we are as humans that we're there to help, right? And not being high pressure. Knowing when to strike, of course. You know, that 5% high pressure. We want to know when to strike, of course. We want to, we want to strike. We want to close. But not so soon. We want to more get to know people and find out what's going on. And through that, you close more deals. I have a guy that... Um, first year in the business, fall, he found me before he got his license. He closed 100 deals his first year, made a half a million dollars. And so you take what I'm doing and you, you may have to tweak it a little for your area, you know, of course. I mean, you have to tweak, you have to tweak any, pro, any program to at least your personality, right? This is, this is based around taking your personality and using that personality as your strength, as your uniqueness, as your value add to the to the public right this is who you are and nobody else is like you and we're going to use that to attract clients and customers so yeah it works all over the world